Hey guys, I didn't see a tutorial on YouTube like this, so I'm going to make a quick one. So what I do is I grab the BPM. You see that says tempo variable around 101. So I'm going to go to my Reaper session. I'm going to type in 101. You want your starting tempo to be as close as possible to the tracks you're going to drop in. So then I'm going to go to the new tracks right here. I'm going to drop those in. I'm going to hit separate tracks. So that's going to load in all these. And then you want to hit the button G, which is going to group all those. I don't know if you could see it, but there's like a green highlight around the tracks. So if you move one of them, you move all of them. And then what you want to do is find the uh, click track, which is this one. I can just tell visually, right? If I solo that, well, first I got to activate my tracks. Okay. So you can hear the click going right there. So there's a button called uh, dynamic split. If you press D, it opens up this window, right? And you can see that it finds the uh, transient at the beginning of each, of each bar. You can see that? So the biggest click every four. So then in these dynamic settings, what you wanna select is add stretch markers to selected items and grouped items. So when you do that and you hit add stretch markers right there, what that does is put a stretch marker at the beginning of every bar where the click is, and it does it on all of the corresponding tracks. You can see that as well. So then what you wanna do is just put that as close to the beginning of a bar as you can right there. And then you hit control S. I think that's for everybody, but I'm not sure. But what that does is it snaps the, um, snaps these stretch markers to the grid, right? So now they're snapped into the tempo of 101. You could see right away we have a mess up right here at the beginning. If I play that. So you could hear that that second bar is messed up because it's slowed down right there, 85%. But what you can do is if you hold the control button, hard to do this with one hand. So I'm gonna hold the control button and I'm gonna drag that marker. You want your snap on while you do this. So you can drag that and it'll snap to the bar line. And now you can see everything is um, perfectly aligned. And because it's variable throughout the song, you just kind of scroll through the song one time and see if there's any other moments where the uh, tempo got screwed up. Kind of like there's another one right there. You see that? So if I play that. Right? That's not going to work. That's probably what you're you're having when you're trying to put a click. But if I hold control and I drag that to the next bar line, you can see that fixes that moment. And then if it slides the rest of the song, all of the tracks as well, so that it's aligned. So I go through the song one time doing that. In this scenario, we have a couple fixes, right? That's fine. Here's another one. Okay, now we're at the end of the song and we're perfectly aligned to the grid. Now, if you want, you can change the, the BPM to, you know, I'm gonna bump it up to, and it'll automatically adjust because these are stretch markers. So I'm gonna hit play at the beginning. Then you just mute the click. Right? So you took a song that was variable and had a variable click, and now we've snapped it to the grid. And then I go ahead, I add markers for all of the different sections of the song, and that's pretty much it. We're, we're locked into a new grid. Peace.